Hello everybody and welcome to my fourth Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the sum formula. The sum formula is very similar to count uh, and we'll start off the same as any formula so equals and then we type in sum. It doesn't necessarily have to be in capitals but that's how I like to write it. You then do open bracket to signify we want to give it some parameters and then similar to count it just takes any number of ranges so I'm just going to click and highlight D1 to D20 and close bracket and then press enter. Uh, what this does is it just totals uh, adds up all the numbers that are in the range that we passed it uh, and it will work on numbers pretty normally uh, if you put it underneath text uh, it's not going to work just because the text doesn't have any actual value so and if you put it on dates it's not going to really mean anything uh, and the reasons for that I'll come on to later in my date tutorials uh, but it's to do with the way the dates are stored and the way you calculate them plus why would you want to add up a load of dates anyway think about lo logically in time it doesn't make any sense so sums really only used for numbers uh, there's quicker ways of doing it so you can just click on the auto sum button up here the same way we do with count press enter uh, and that just gives you your sum formula uh, you can also if you just press alt and equals it does exactly the same thing and just fills it in for you so that's very useful. The other thing I just want to show you quickly is you can do the formulas without actually typing anything in. At least you can for the very basic formulas anyway. If we just highlight this area, what you'll notice is down in the bottom here, it's already given me the sum, the count, and the average of these cells. So if you're just looking to really quickly add up some numbers, you don't even need to write any formulas. You just highlight them and then just view it at the bottom here and then that it quite often is good enough for what you need uh, and that is going to be it for the sum formula in the next formula i'm just going to show you how to do various uh, other simple ones so average minimum max so thanks for listening and i hope to catch you in the next tutorial